What's going on there folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on this, uh, what is it? Tuesday night, September 14th, 2021, about 9.38 p.m. West Coast time. Latest quake on the globe is going to be a 4.1 earthquake down here in the uh, Chile area, South America. See a little bit of earthquake activity ramping up around the globe today. Let's go ahead and check out some specifics of uh, what's going on around the uh, planet here. Yellowstone looking pretty quiet, folks. We'll cover that real quick right off the bat. Not a whole lot going on up there at the moment. Uh, no swarms to report there in the Yellowstone area. Uh, looking at the USGS map here, there's that 4.1 down in the Chile area. Uh, also looking at some movement just southwest of Iceland out here on the uh, the uh, Reka Janes Ridge area. A uh, few hundred miles it looks like southwest of Iceland. 4.6 and also, what do we got here? 4.1 striking in Albania earlier. That's kind of a newer one from the update uh, that I did earlier. There is some movement around the Puerto Rico area once again, but this, this activity we're looking at today, not necessarily around the Puerto Rico trench over the last 24. I know last night we were looking at uh, quite a bit of movement here in the, into the Puerto Rico trench area, but tonight and over the last 24, just along the south side of the Puerto Rico area and only one quake around the Puerto Rico trench area at about 24 kilometers for that 3.2. The eastern coast, eastern uh, part of the country here on the uh, United States, pretty quiet. Oklahoma, only a couple small, only only one microquake it looks like and uh, probably a query blast there near uh, Quinlan. Also Pex Pico, Texas, a little bit of activity there as well. Uh, kind of the big story. I wouldn't say super big, but we are seeing kind of a little bit of movement here up and down the uh, coast here of Southern California. Well, I should say San Francisco southward. Some on the North American side and also some on the Pacific side. Uh, seeing a 3.8, the largest. Ooh, what just happened right there? Come on now, USGS. That's not very nice. 3.8. Let's see if it'll let me. There we go. Uh, in the, uh, let's see where that was at exactly. And on the North American side, northwest of Kalinga. A little 3.8. Off the San Andreas Fault System near the uh, Diablo Range. A few folks did report feeling that earthquake that struck at about 16 kilometers below surface. Uh, that was just one of a couple threes that kind of struck out here. There was another one up here to the north, 2.9 near Milpitas. And uh, that, that was on the uh, Calaveras, uh, actually the Hayward Calaveras fault system. Let me see here. Southern end, it looks like. Yeah, along the uh, Calaveras fault system, central section right there. Uh, and also, uh, we did see some, th I'm pretty sure this one right here was a three. I, I think it got downgraded to a 2.9 uh, near Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, Cuc <laughs> Rancho Cucamonga. There we go. I was going to say, I don't know what I was going to say, but um, a 2.9, 8.5 kilometers, originally a three. It did an update video on this because it's pretty close to the San Andreas fault system. Uh, and then since then, we've had a little earthquake over here, a little bit closer to the concrete jungle, San Fernando, California, 3.0, 6.1 kilometers below surface. So a little bit of activity ramping up here in the southern part of the state. Uh, it's been relatively quiet for the most part, seeing some microquake activity uh, further south of Los Angeles, stretching towards San Diego, and uh, also the San Jacinto Fault area. No swarming to report, uh, but definitely a little, little, just a little increase uh, in earthquake activity here in Southern California region. Ridgecrest, uh, Long Valley Supervolcano, and areas up here north in Nevada and the Antelope Valley area, all kind of just uh, average earthquake activity taking place over the last 24. Uh, quarry blast up here around uh, Walnut Creek, right around Mount Diablo. What are they trying to do right there? Created a 1.1 earthquake at the base, it looks like, towards the north end. Uh, some further movement up into uh, Utah once again. Pacific Northwest looking relatively quiet. We'll check out the trimmer department here in a minute. Alaska seeing some earthquake activity and a little swarm up here southwest of or southeast of Fairbanks. This is kind of in that area where the uh, 4.9 struck yesterday. So seeing some aftershock sequences there. 
nothing bigger than the 4.9 and these are all pretty much microquake aftershocks following that uh, earthquake yesterday. A lot of earthquake activity around the Anchorage area into the subduction zone. Uh, the Aleutian Trench looks pretty quiet here at the surface and uh, a little bit of movement off the coast over here of Russia. 4.9 J Japan Trench southward pretty quiet once again folks very absent of earthquake activity stretching all the way down from the Indonesia Indonesia area all the way up to the north very quiet activity Solomon Islands seen a little movement and uh, some deeper activity near Tonga uh, what else we got here over in Afghanistan it looks like there's some of the activity around Alba um, Albania and the uh, let's see just off the coast of uh, what is this trench right here right at the northern end of this trench Oh man, I, no, I'm not even for sure how to uh, pronounce that one. Um, but yeah, 4.5 in that region at 10 kilometers. I did see another quake up here around the South America area or down here, uh, just kicking off within the last hour. This is looks like a couple 4.1s, uh, one somewhat deep and the other much shallower. It looks like a couple hours in between both of these, but uh, right around the Peru Chile Trench region. Even so, that's relatively quiet for this activity. South Sandwich Islands uh, getting in on 5.3, the only earthquake to report down in that area over the last 24. Uh, just uh, be on guard west coast right now. South Southern California looks like uh, pretty active. The Hawaiian Islands, big island looking uh, like a typical day out there in the uh, blue Pacific. Southeast flank getting in on some action around 32, 35 kilometers down below. And some movement at Kilauea, just right at the crater area, a little 1.9. And also up here we need to watch uh, 2.0. This one's pretty shallow, though. Start seeing some deeper movement here. We could be looking at further progression of lava, or magma, I should say, um, in the region. But now just a little little shallow quake up here around Mauna Loa, too. 1.8, fairly shallow at 3.5 uh, kilometers. Checking out the trimmer map into the Pacific Northwest, most of this activity at the very, very southern end of the Cascadia. Kind of right here where it subducts, well, well, it is subducting, and then it kind of gets into the melting layers uh, further down you get here below the surface into the Sierra Nevadas. And of course, the melting layer creates the volcanoes along the Sierra and the Cascades. So uh, kind of getting into that region a little bit. This is the southern end of the Cascadia into the slippage uh, slippage zone slow slippage if you know what I mean down here in the Cascadia area uh, down dip downstream in this region we're looking at about 56 epicenters of trimmer in the Cascadia and uh, I'm really surprised we haven't seen any type of earthquake activity off the coast of Northern Cal uh, looks very quiet even the microquake department uh, looks pretty quiet in this area off the coast of Eureka building up strain as we get further down uh, producing that slippage it just doesn't disappear um, you know all that back building and pressure kind of builds up here and increases the tension in the Cascadia there was a little earthquake activity around uh, Lake Almanor it looks like and also north of uh, um, Mount Lassen but overall rel relatively quiet in the northern half of the state it's the south part we're kind of looking at the increase in activity taking place uh, today so jumping in uh, to a couple quick pictures here folks we'll run into uh, uh, Trisha Anchorage Alaska region absolutely stunning image I mean that's when I opened up this image on my email all these colors just poof popped right out at me there's a rainbow off in the background but the trees the clouds overall a beautiful great colorful HD photo um, that Trisha sent in there around uh, Glen Alp, Anchorage, Alaska region. Appreciate that uh, image really uh, a lot. I love that one. Um, here's another one from Peter up in Seattle on the Puget Sound area. Some uh, looks like uh, cumulus clouds building up there. Creating a little shower. This was back in August, I believe, uh, Peter said. Uh, overall, uh, beautiful shot there. Thanks for sending that one in uh, to the uh, Earthmaster channel. If you do want to be featured here on the channel for an update or in the update video, please send your photos that you took with a brief description 
location, all that good stuff, to earthmastermail at gmail.com, and we will try to get them on. Um, getting caught up on a few of them. A few I couldn't post, but uh, you're definitely getting caught up on them. So keep those photos coming in, folks. All right, I'm going to jump off here, guys. Sun's pretty quiet as far as the sunspot activity goes. Um, diminishing sunspots on the earth-facing side. That's uh, Let's see if I can get that baby to refresh there. There we go. Not for sure what's coming around the bend, but uh, looking pretty quiet in the sunspot department right now, at least for the foreseeable future on the earth side of the sun surface there. So, all right, have a good night, guys. We will chat at you a little bit later on. Stay safe. Peace out.